When is a vocations newsletter not enough? My name is Kevin Benet, and I'm speaking for vocationpromotion.com. Just recently, we discovered that a young lady who had signed up for a discernment retreat actually was not reading very many of our newsletters. Even though we sent her 24 newsletters, she opened only 8% of them. Well, for years we've been talking and promoting about vocation newsletters because they're in your email box and people read them. They can find out about your community and about your charism, about religious life in general. Well, this is a good example of why you need different channels of communication, different media. Let's follow this person's example. I'll call her Joanne. She responded to one of our social media ads uh, along with 15 other young ladies that day. She took our vocations quiz and scored very well on it. Two weeks later, we sent the names of the best candidates to our vocation director. These are the ones whom we think are the best candidates for religious life. We suggested that our vocation director contact these young ladies either by email or by phone. Fast forward to about seven months later and we posted an event on the community's Facebook page saying that the discernment retreat was coming up. Please sign up. Well, within three days, Joanna put a little post there saying, um, this, this keeps uh, popping up on, on my news feed. And then also one day she said, um, for the first time, I'm thinking of going on this. Oh, that was good news. She did sign up the very next day after that last post. And now, uh, two weeks away from the retreat, she's still signed up. So what this shows is that one channel is not enough. You need to follow up with a personal email, maybe with a phone call. In the case of this young lady, she has a LinkedIn profile. Now, LinkedIn is for uh, professional business networking uh, purposes, and she explained a lot about her life. Uh, she's a major in theology. She's active in a lot of, uh, a lot of campus ministry activities. Um, you know, seems to have her head on straight about religious life. So LinkedIn is another way that you can reach out to these people. And so there's not only newsletters, there's personal emails, there's phone calls, there's LinkedIn, and there's text as well. So there's different, way, different ways to approach people. Some people are on one channel, but they're not on another. Thanks very much. Best wishes for good vocations for your community. This is Kevin Bidet for vocationpromotion.com.